Well, a very good evening or whatever time it is around the world that you're joining us and welcome to Prague to the playoffs. Day two and it's semi-finals day. It gets even more serious. The course being set for tonight's class just behind us. The tractors even are out themselves and uh, all the team are dropping everything into place. Now, things need to drop into place for a few more people tonight, namely our team riders. And alongside me, I mean, two of those already featured in yesterday's competition as well. Shane Breen, Miami Celtics. Shane, welcome. Good to see you. Good evening, Steve. And Abdul Saeed. Already had a pretty good day yesterday and a good start to today. Good evening, Steve. <laughs> uh, now, let's come on to you first, Shane. Shane, yesterday, Miami Celtics, you were fifth in the championship overall. You pulled it out the bag. You've got yourself into the semi-finals. Now, you're in jeans. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, we had a good evening yesterday evening. Uh, William and Michael were two super clear rounds. Um, I had uh, one fence down, but I thought my horse jumped very well, very pleased. Um, I'm in jeans this evening because um, Jessica is going to um, ride, ride tonight and um, I think it's a good decision. Um, I think uh, Jesse, William and Michael will be very strong. Well, we, we've got a few images up there uh, of last night. Michael Duffy, I mean, you, you all did your part there to put yourselves on a good score. Best score of yesterday in, in the evening competition. Great way to set yourselves up for today. But elation from Duffy as well on his round, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Michael was very focused and uh, very determined. And um, when when he jumped clear, he was he was <laughs> over the moon. And uh, at the, and uh, when it, when he was going out and William was coming in, he was I think he had words with William to come on, let's get it done now. You, you were definitely in the game. Now the thing yeah. is for you, you were last to go in that in yesterday's competition because you just missed out on being in that top four. That means you would have missed yesterday and gone straight into today. So. That round, getting that in early on was a big help. Yeah, um, you know, when, when Michael had gone clear and William had gone clear, um, Helena said to me, basically, just don't fall off. <laughs> Simple as that, don't fall off, stay on. Now, Abdel, you stayed on well today. You put a little win behind you earlier on today. Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with my mare. She jumped very good yesterday, second. Today she won the class, so it's been a great week for her. Now, let's get on to team competition. GCL yesterday, Can Stars. Can Stars for you yesterday came out of the bag, pulled it, pulled your boots back up and finished on a score of five, just behind the Miami Celtics. Now, season overall, you were what in about 14th place over the season, so you were early to go. But this, with everything going back to zero, gave you a great shot. I mean, for us, it's been a little bit of an unlucky season. We had two riders that got, uh, yeah, had medical issues and, and got injured along the season. So it's been a little bit of a difficult season for us. I don't usually like to say unlucky, but we were a little bit unlucky. Yeah. Uh, but coming into here, I really spoke to the guys and I said, OK, we really need to get stuck in and uh, get together here. We're good enough. We're winning every week. Now let's pull it off together as a team. And uh, OK, when Jane went really well and Maurice went clear, um, obviously, I, uh, I had to perform, and I think the time fault helped us to qualify for today. Absolutely. Yeah, as you say, started off well yesterday with Jane Richard Phillips. Good clear in there from her. Maurice Tebble, I've kept pointing out, he hasn't come out much, but I think he's a bit of your secret weapon. Yeah, he's, he's fantastic. You know, he knows his horse very well. He's a very cool and calm and strong rider. Um, so, yeah, that's why we also picked him for here, and uh, fingers crossed for tonight. And for you last night, just that one time fault with Jumpy? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew that I preferred the time fault than a rail. I was just over the time. I could. I was a little bit cautious to the Liverpool Oxer, but OK, I prefer that than maybe risking a fence. <laughs> now, obviously, you were early to go because it was based on the season standing. 16 teams, you were around about 14th, so you were like third team in. Yeah. For you, uh, you know, where were you thinking at that point? That that Because one hates to say you look down at that end and think we were going to lose four teams last night. We've got ourselves back in it. Yeah, but definitely, to be honest, that's where I was going. We really believe in ourselves. We're good, you know. We have good riders. Just as a team, it was difficult last. It was the first time we're together as a team. It always takes yeah. time to build a relationship and become strong as a team. But coming into here, we really tried hard to be a team, and uh, I think it worked out. It worked. It definitely worked out. Or yesterday, anyway. <laughs> now, what what's the thought on tonight? Yeah, I mean, we're very, very motivated, we're driven. I think our horses all jumped great yesterday, so uh, we'll try our best again tonight and hopefully we make it to the finals. Hopefully we make it through the finals. Now, now let's fill everybody in because we've got those teams. We've got 12 teams tonight. Yeah. The four best teams from the season now come into play. They missed yesterday, they now come into play. So for you coming in, it's a very different landscape now, isn't it? I think it will be a little bit tougher today, Shane. I don't know what you think, but I think the course will be tougher than yesterday. 
which is good for us. We have Scopy and now pretty experienced horses, so I actually hope it's quite tough, no problem. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Absolutely, here's the team composition for the Cannes Stars as we've got Jane Richard Phillips leading the charge there, the Swiss rider, Morris Tebel of Germany in the middle, and uh, there, Abdul Seed of Egypt. I'm not sure which is the anchor role in a, in a three, three rider team these days. Yeah, I think it's all as important, really, you know? Uh, I think so, with every score counting, you know, the pressure's on all. Now, for you, Shane, tonight, obviously you're going to be on the floor, but you did your part last night. I again, I know Miami Celtics are going to be working as a unit, whether riding or not. Yeah, um, you know, it'll be interesting because I, th I think the challenge will be much greater this evening. Um, Uliano, I think, will have a slightly bigger course, a little bit more technical. Um, time could be a big factor here tonight. Um, so we're kind of in the middle towards the end, but we have some very strong teams behind us. Well, let's talk your team as we've got here. As you say, Jessica Springsteen is going to come into action tonight. You yourself did your part last night, and we had Michael Duffy and William Whitaker, both the two boys down the end as well. Yours was a lovely round, but, but Duffy and, and William with his ride, really, really classic stuff. Yeah, fantastic. Um, you know, I, I think we have a great team of riders and horses, and um, I think tonight uh, Jessie's going to go first, and she's been in tremendous form. Um, and um, she, she hopefully will start with a clear round on her. Cecile is normally quite quick. Uh, William goes second. Uh, Kadu is a big, big, big jumper. Um, not so quick. Uh, William has to take a little bit of risk. If there's an option of a tight turn, William has to take that. And then with Michael going in last, Michael is great. He can take pressure. He's a top class rider. Um, Mulladrin touched the stars. He's a big horse, um, but He's a big stride also, so Michael, if, if time, score, we have to have our figures correct so yeah. that we can say to Michael, you need to be fast, or, or what we need to tell him, we need to have it correct for him. And, and let's talk positioning as well, because you've essentially jumped yourself into the position you would have been through the season, because the top four teams are just left to come after you. So it's going to be an interesting one to sit there, because from this point, the semi-finals, we put six teams into the finals. So essentially you've got 12 tonight, it's literally 50-50. You're either half of you are in, half of you are out. Well, I think for us tonight, basically, when we finish, our three riders have jumped. We need to be either in first or second. If we're first or second, perfect. We're in for Sunday. <laughs> um, if we're third, fourth, we're going to be you're nail biting. Gonna, you're going to be there biting. Let, let's have a look at a few of the team stats for the season as well as we can see in there. Season, well, you had two wins in there. I think you were on both of the winning teams, weren't you? Paris yes, and Miami. Yeah. 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 And uh, two second places. That off the top of my head, I can't tell you we're on those teams as well. Uh, one was Cannes and one was Hamburg. There I've you go. both of those as well. Absolutely. <laughs> and all the ways you can follow their team as well, hashtag Miami Celtics, or on Instagram or on Facebook, and exactly the same for the Cannes stars as well. If you're wishing to follow them, you can follow their various different accounts throughout. And, OK, tonight, let's, let's talk those top four teams coming into action here as well. Abdul, to you first. We've got Shanghai Swans, Madrid in motion. Sanch Pay Pirates, London Knights, who have got to buy into this round. Let, let's break it down for everyone who's less familiar with the teams. We're talking Peter Fredericks and Daniel Deusser coming in for the Shanghai Swans. We're talking the two Van der Vleutens for Madrid in motion alongside teammate, of course, Edwina Tops Alexander, Peter DeVos in Sanch Pay Pirates. I'm just picking through here, but London Knights, Martin Fuchs and Ben Mayer. That kind of quality and the rest of them that come into it. 2.4 million tonight, not 1.2. We've, we've put away 1.2. How is that going to change how you all attack this? Well, to be honest, I mean, how we see it, the only thing we can control is our team. I can't, you know, obviously these are fantastic riders and fantastic horses, um, but the only way I can, we can tackle this is by trying to do our best. So we have to get good results, try to jump clear rounds and then put the pressure on them. And from that point of view, talking those four, as I say, six go through. So let's say the top four of the season went through. That leaves two teams left behind them, which at the moment, fifth and sixth, are your two teams. Yeah. Who do you reckon you've got, ahead, got to get ahead of that means you've got a guaranteed spot? Who do you think the team's going to really come out of this? And you think, if I can get a score close to them, we're in? Honestly, I think London, um, Madrid in motion, Shanghai Swans, 
I think they're they're gonna be very 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 strong in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so get as close as possible to them and uh, hope for the best. As we say in racing, keep up sides of them, Shane. Well, now let's have a little look at how uh, those top few teams have performed during the season, including the Miami. I think we're looking at our top five teams here. So we'll include the Miami Celtics on there. London Knights, well, five wins for them through the season. A surprisingly no seconds or thirds. San Tropez Pirates have got one win behind them. That was in Hamburg and uh, three times on the podium otherwise. Madrid in motion, last year's winners of the Super Cup in there. Two wins behind them, both with father and son in the driving seat there. Shanghai Swans on two wins as well. And again, we're bringing Doisa and uh, we're bringing Fredrickson and uh, Sweetenham into play. Of course, they were in the first two stages in Doha and Mexico and Miami Celtics, as we've talked about, those two wins in Miami, Paris, and then those second places that we see there. So it stayed pretty close to you, but Shane, London Knights, in terms of wins, were still sitting well ahead of everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. I think when we look at that, um, they are they are the team to beat. Um, when you look at look at their team, the combinations they have: Ben Mayer, Explosion W, um, Martin Fuchs with Clooney. Like they were they were the one two at the European Championships. Yeah, they're they're the informed team. Um, and and then you have um, the other teams as well, which are also you know you have some of the riders top ten in the world. It's it's creme de la creme here um, and uh, there's there's no error for mistake um, the interesting thing is that some of these sh shall we say teams that are favorites they those riders are also in the super grand prix yeah so how they're going to play it um, as regarding are they going to jump the horses tonight saturday night and again sunday are they going to make horse changes? You know, things like that could could have a big bearing on the yeah. on the on the end play here. You know, as you say, a high quality field. Although seven of the world's top ten. Quick trivia one for you. I'll test both of you on this one. We've got of all the riders competing here this week. How many Global Champions Tour Grand Prix do you think they've won? Everybody here this week. Give me a number. Uh, uh, I don't know. Sixty. Sixty. Quick number. 50. 50. 95. Wow. <laughs> That's the quality of the field you've got. Wow. <laughs> Super Grand Prix, 45 of them alone across the Super Grand Prix. That's the quality of what we've got. Good luck to both of you tonight. You. You'll be in the saddle. You'll be biting your fingernails. <laughs> Good luck to your teams. And at the end of the day, we'll see who will go through to the final. Thank you very, very much, Steve. Good luck in the final, Thank you, Steve. <laughs>